Hi everybody, it's Josh with Talk About Trek, and we're back today with something a little bit different. It's not quite a card opening video, but I like to think of it like that, because I have these, which are these little individually packed Star Trek, um, the trading card game, packs. And I got these at my local flea market, and I got a big fat stack of them, too. Check this out. Look at this. Boom. I talked the guy down to like 15 bucks too, and it would have been like 30 or something, I think. So I got a good deal, and I have a good time uh, opening these too. So I think what we'll do is we'll get four at a time, slide them out, switch over to the card can, look at them, and see if we didn't find, I don't know, something interesting. I, I would have to think that the guy probably pulled out anything, you know, good or expensive if he knew what he was doing. Uh, maybe he didn't, and uh, maybe he just randomly put them in here. Who really knows, honestly? So what we're going to do is find a good way to show them to you here. So let's see. First off, that light is terrible. Can we reduce that? Not increase it. Reduce it. All right. Why is it backwards? Look at that. It is in, it's, it's, uh, backwards. Hang on. We can fix this together. All right? Boom. Okay. Now we're talking. All right, we still got that light. It's a little much. Let's see if we can't. Better? Better. Better. Not great, but better. Okay, so first card we're looking at, this is Katesh. And uh, do you know who Katesh is? I don't remember the episode he's on, but Katesh is John Tesh, who was like a, he was like an actor and maybe like a talk show host or something. But anyway, that's Katesh, the Klingon, played by John Tesh, the actor. All right, next card, Interrupt, a long-range scan, long-range sensor scan. This is an event, a treaty, a Federation Romulan treaty. Nice. Ah, Sita Jaxo. Okay. So, uh, Sita, of course, from the original Lower Decks episode. Uh, tragic, tragic character, but great, great episode, right? And look at that. Right next to Sita is also the other Lower Decker. So it's almost like somebody knew what they were doing here. All right, let's get our stack here. So this was uh, another Vulcan Ensign who was in the Lower Decks episode. And um, he was an interesting character as well. I liked him. Um, okay, another long-range scan. We've got a ship. This is a patrol ship, a Deep Space Nine Hideki class, Cardassian. Hmm. All right. Another... What is this? An interrupt, a phaser array power cell. Yeah, look at that thing. Oh, okay, I remember. This is when the power cell would go out. It would be like a ceremony to put it up on the shelf, right? Okay. We've got another Klingon here. Probably also played by somebody. This is B Ijik. B Ijik. Right? Okay. Ooh, we got a VIP, Vag. Klingon governor of the Creosan system. I don't remember this guy. All right, we got some Ferengi action here. This is a nice uh, Dr. Ferrick. Huh, I don't, what was this from? I don't remember Dr. Ferrick, but uh, we'll have to look into that. Hey, we've got a planet here finally. This is a, right? This is a stellar collision or something. Again, I have never actually played a round of this game, and I would love to someday. Basic science vessel here. Ah, here we go. Another mission site. A repair. What is this? The Argus Array? Something like that. Okay, we've got a, a tr traditional wormhole here. Oh, 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 don't get ahead of yourself. Wormhole. An unstable tubble, tubble, tunnel through subspace. Nice, okay. 
This is, oh yes, Klingon on Federation Espionage. Got a medical officer here for the Romulans, Jera. Oh, and this was actually a recreation. She was an alien entity the whole time. Klingon outpost here. Nice. There's like the, the high council chambers, I believe. Beautiful boar bear. Look at that. Piece of work. Hey, a Ferengi disruptor. I don't think I've ever even got a close look at one of those things like that. Standard issue Ferengi disruptor. Okay. An interrupt. An incoming message from the Klingons. Come on, man. Where's like the where's the crew of the Enterprise? Krom. Krom. Who's Krom? He's an engineer. And uh, he makes oh. <laughs> Reputed to have consumed 15 Rokeg blood pies in one sitting. That's my dude. All right. Clegg. Clegg is from the Guard of the House of Kempek. We've got another treacherous Romulan here, Galathon. Yeah, I remember that guy. Okay. Okay. Another Klingon here. What's this guy? Gorath. Okay. Uh, he guarded the High Council. Nice. He's got a nice uh, gold armor there, too. All right. This is just all Klingons and Romulans here, isn't it? That's fine. It's fine. We'll have fun with it. My stack's getting a little wonky. Here we go. Okay. Taurus, a science officer. Tall, your security officer. Hey, we got a chem pack. He was... Uh, Klingon High Council leader. And then he was poisoned by Duras. I, I don't know. Maybe Duras. I don't know. Oh, this guy. He's the guy that shot Picard. This is the guy that shot Picard. Jadan. He was the, uh, the, Kl the Klingon scientist. He was a little bit of a different character. Okay, here we go. We got something out of first contact. Phaser Banks Tactic. Attack bonus. Nice. And another tactic straight out of Deep Space Nine. Targeting engines. I wonder if tactics were something that were added later on in the game. I don't remember seeing a lot of them in the earlier sets I have. Ah, beautiful bar of gold depressed latinum. The Enterprise going into attack pattern Delta. Another tactic. What is this tactic? Now they're doing targeting shields. Interesting. Uh-oh. We're missing something here. Hold on. Boom. Yes. I'm just joking. This is a Alpha attack ship, of course. Your Jem'Hadar attack ship. Hey, we've got a, a Thunder, Thunder Child. Nice. An Akira class. NCC 63549. Um... Nice. That is the Thunder Child. So we do actually get a Starfleet ship. Finally, after all that. We've got a planet here. It just says deliver a message. Oh, this is Ferenginar. Yes, very Rangi. <laughs> very Rangi on Ferenginar. Uh, we do have an Exocomp. That's kind of cool. Come on, get it in there. There we go. Into frame. That was an interesting episode. And then, of course, the, you know, the Exocomp comes back in Lower Decks, and that, that's fairly funny, too. And finally, the last card for the night. <laughs> you guys think they got some pretty good jokes. I don't know. Look at this. Look at Dial Martok for murder. While infiltrating the Klingon Empire, a changeling posing as Martok killed two guards in an isolated corridor. They never expected treachery from an honorable warrior. Yeah, do you remember that reveal? Everyone was like... It's Gowron. Gowron's a changeling. It was Martok the whole time. Well, that's a good card. That's a good card to end that on. Dial Martok for murder. Hilarious. I love it. So, that's part one in our series of... Oh, man. There's going to be many parts of this series. There's a lot of these cards, and they're very fun to open and talk about, to be honest with you. And eventually, I'm going to build 
some incredible deck, and I'm going to become the master of Star Trek, the trading card game. Just wait and see. So, uh, thanks for hanging out. As always, live long and prosper, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.